The Queen Charge Hybrid is one of the best Town Hall 13 attack strategies, so let's help you by breaking it down step by step so any of you can 3-star with it. Whether you want to use the Standard Hybrid or the Recall Hybrid, there is something here for you. Like with any good attack, you need to know how to funnel, so let's start with the Queen Charge. With the Queen Charge, you need to set up a proper plan, unlike the Grand Warden Walk. So before you actually place in your queen, actively funnel where you want her to go via using sneaky goblins, baby dragons, or even a yeti to control her. Then place in five healers right behind where you can use a couple balloons to look for any seeking air mines. Make sure that you also use a super wall breaker or two to get your queen into the base. Usually, I would recommend looking for the enemy clan castle with your queen charge. So if the CC is right by the town hall, chances are this is a great spot to enter into the base with your queen charge. However, if the CC is either away from the town hall or the town hall is in the core of the base, this is going to be a better spot to focus on removing the CC plus any key defenses that might be around it which will allow you to set one part of your funnel, allowing your hybrid to gain access to the town hall in some way. As for your spells with the queen charge, using rage spells, if your queen is either getting low on HP, going into an area of high DPS, or even dealing with the enemy heroes or enemy CC troops. You may also want to take free spells to help stop defenses, town hall, or even the enemy CC troops from dealing any damage to your queen. But don't let this stop you from hitting the subscribe button and bell for more quality content like this. So as your queen moves through, she's going to set up pathing for your hybrid, which allows for one side of your funnel to be set. Of course, there is a siege machine that can help in certain cases to keep your queen charge alive. The Battle Blimp is one of the very few seed machines that has some really nice flexibility with the Queen Charge. It's a very good seed machine if there is a defense that is harassing your healers, mainly splash damage defenses that can hit multiple healers such as the Multi Infernos or the Scatter Shots. So with that said, you are going to be using the Blimp with a couple balloons to look for Seeking Air Mines and allowing that to drop down with the use of a Rage Spell, and will allow you to smash down those defenses that are within the Yeti and Yeti Might's range. However, in some cases, if the Town Hall is on the corner of a base, you can use the Queen Charge plus the Recall Spell. This ends up clearing one side of the funnel normally as the Queen Charge, but it then allows you to keep your queen up and use her as part of your secondary funnel, which can be incredibly good to use. However, this also does allow you to run a different seed machine in comparison to running just one for funneling, but we will be talking more about that later. Just focus on using this to funnel, which opens up more opportunities for you. Well, one side of the funnel is being set up, you should be cutting off the other side of the funnel with the use of something to control your hybrid. Of course, you can sometimes use the Barbarian King, just using him to clear out regular buildings before sending in your hybrid can be an, a really good thing as it can open up other siege machines. Of course, you could also use a super wall breaker if you have one left over to open up a particular compartment and clear a little bit more of the interior part of the base. Of course, you can also pair the Barbarian King with the Siege Barrack, as in most cases, this is what you'll be using. Since this is a really nice pairing and the Siege Barrack has really no weaknesses thanks to it not moving, it can cut off the other side of the funnel so your hybrid has an easy way of moving through. It creates this funnel really easy with no strings attached. Just as easy as using my creator code, Code Corrupt, to support me and everything I do here on the channel. Another great siege machine is the Flame Flinger, as this works 
perfectly against bases that have a centralized town hall or it is an island base. By allowing you to clear buildings around its range, alongside using the Barbarian King to clear all the rest of the buildings, including trash buildings and even tanking for other defenses, it can be an incredibly good thing to use. Of course, be very careful of mortars and expos since they tend to outrange the flame flame. So having the Barbarian King with it can actually mitigate that issue as long as you're not within the dead zone of the mortar. Of course, you should also be careful of skeleton traps and Teslas since they can randomly appear. But using stuff like balloons or Valkyries is a good way to counter this threat. With both sides of your funnel set, it is time for your hybrid to go into the base, regardless of the version of your strategy that you're using. With the hybrid, make sure that you are sending in the miners, the hog riders, the royal champion, and the grand warden into the base. Try to go in for an inferno or a scatter shot at the earliest moment to get those down. Of course, getting rid of the eagle artillery is going to be a heavy thing if you didn't already get rid of it with the queen charge. So try to focus on getting it sooner rather than later. So if your hybrid is either not going directly into the town hall, your queen charge has already dealt with the town hall, or the town hall is in the center of the base, you're going to use your spells like this, using an early heal spell initially to push your way in, followed by then using the Grand Warren ability to protect your miners and hog riders as they get through the core or get through the town hall, then using your final couple heal spells on the back end of the base which is going to help them a lot. However, if your hybrid is going directly into the town hall, then you want to use an early Grand Warren ability to protect them through the town hall blast, followed by then using all the rest of your heal spells through the core and the back end, which will allow you to keep them alive without having the Grand Warren ability. Any other spells, such as rage spells, can be used to boost your hybrid through the base, However, you should only use them if you don't have any need for them with the Queen Charge. This can be great as you get through the core of the base, especially if the Town Hall is within the center, as it allows you to just power your way through with the hybrid and allows them to smash a lot of defenses. Of course, you also have the free spells as they play a nice role as well, since you can use them to get closer to defenses or prevent any damage on your hybrid. It could even delay the use of a heal or Grand Warden ability. Of course, we can't forget about a great seed machine that you can use during the hybrid. The use of this battle drill is incredibly good, as if you don't have any need for any siege machine that funnels, this can be the best thing, as it is only one of two units that can stun and it's the only one that you can get at Tunnel 13 from the Clan Castle. This is basically the best siege machine if you're using the Recall Queen Charge version, as it allows you to focus on smashing the base rather than funneling. But if you just want to use just the Barbarian King, this can be really good, as any hybrid or any ground strategy is definitely going to take advantage of the stunning drill, as it just allows you to get a lot of value that way. 